What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm teaching you the difference between an ounce and a Troy ounce. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. I sincerely appreciate it. This one's on the difference between an ounce and a Troy ounce. Now, if, if you're already a heavy buyer of precious metals like gold and silver, you probably already know what a Troy ounce is. But if you're just getting in, into precious metals or if you're just curious between the difference between an ounce and a Troy ounce, I'm going to explain it to you in this video. But first, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because I got a lot of really awesome precious metals related content coming out. So let's talk about ounces and Troy ounces. So ounces are, I got my scale here, we'll use that in a sec. Ounces are what we use to measure everyday things like fruit. Uh, if you go to the grocery store, this would be measured in regular ounces. Uh, or let's say you have a child and your child weighs seven pounds, two ounces. Those are regular ounces. And those are actually called avoirdupois ounces. Uh, it's a French word, I'm sure I'm totally butchering it. Uh, but so regular ounces or avoirdupois ounces uh, we know that there's 16 in a pound, so we'll go 16 OZ equals 1 LB. Whoop, there we go. Let's make it a little better. One pound. Okay, 16 ounces in a pound, and you'll notice I use the abbreviation OZ because that's the abbreviation for regular ounces. Uh, we can also break regular ounces down into grams. So the amount of grams that are in a regular ounce are 28 point three, five. Okay, so we got our pounds and grams breakdown. I'll put a little G there for uh, grams. Now what about troy ounces? So regular ounces weigh regular things. Troy ounces weigh precious metals like gold, silver, platinum, palladium. Okay, those all need to be weighed in troy ounces. So a troy ounce is actually a little bit heavier than a regular ounce. So there's 28.35 grams in a regular ounce. Troy ounces have 31.1. Okay, so it's about 10% heavier for a troy ounce. And you can also add troy ounces up into a pound. We still do this here in America sometimes, but uh, there actually isn't 16 ounces in a pound. There's only 12, so that's very interesting. So we'll go 12 OZT equals one, and I'm going to say Troy pound. Okay, so you will notice that I use the abbreviation OZT. That is the abbreviation for Troy ounces. So 16 regular ounces in one pound, 12 Troy ounces in one Troy pound. So if you are buying a Troy pound of silver, that would only be 12 Troy ounces. So uh, really, really interesting. Uh, a troy ounce weighs more than a regular ounce, but a regular pound weighs more than a troy pound. Uh, so let me get my scale out here and we can show you the difference a little bit better. Maybe this will help you understand it. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can tell, but we have OZ on the scale right now. So we're weighing in regular ounces and we'll get our American Silver Eagle here and we'll see how much it weighs. So it weighs 1.1 regular ounces. And as I said, troy ounces are about 10% heavier, so you can see that there. And then if we switch it over into troy ounces, it now says OZT. I'm not sure if you can quite see that. We'll see how much this weighs in troy ounces. 1.008, so just a hair over one troy ounce, which is what it's supposed to weigh. Uh, this is a one ounce American Silver Eagle. So there we go. That was just a simple way of me showing you the difference between regular ounces and troy ounces. Let me zoom out here. Okay, so just to recap, regular ounces are called avoirdupois ounces. It's how we weigh regular everyday things like fruit, people, sugar, whatever. Okay, there's 16 regular ounces in a pound. The abbreviation is OZ. You can break it down into grams. It's 28.35 grams. Troy ounces are how we weigh precious metals like gold, silver, platinum, palladium, rhodium. Those are 31.1 grams, so they're about 10% heavier. We've been using troy ounces for hundreds of years, and so that's how we weigh, uh, buy and sell precious metals. And there are 12 troy ounces in a troy pound, which uh, most of the world doesn't really use troy pounds anymore, but you will st still see those in America from time to time. So that was the video. I hope I was able to help you learn the difference, and uh, definitely leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to add don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all in the next one silver dragons out